Remember last season when we were quite good? Well, before this video starts, I just want to brace yourself for the fact that, that this season we're, we're really not very good. Hello and welcome to part 24 of Non-Need to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have two matches for you in the Vanarama National League. We're away, no, we're at home against Gateshead and then away against Tranmere. Since you were last with me, we've really struggled. Like, really, really struggled. We had that lovely win on the first day of the season. We thought we'd, we'd seen the birth of a new hero. Well, Bradley Clayton, I mean, four goals and six appearances is good. Doesn't necessarily tell the whole story because in most of those games he's been rubbish. Um, I know we've played him in a variety of different roles there, including out on the wing, because that's my solution to when a play when a striker's not playing well, stick him out on the wing. But yes, he got his hat trick. Then he was terrible for three games. Then he scored again. Then he was terrible again. So, I mean, as a lot of you have already noticed, Chesham, who is who he scored all those goals for last year, actually got relegated from the National League South. And I am a little bit worried that Clayton might be one of those players who's just going to score his goals in bursts. Anyone who watched Back in the Borough last year, an Ashley Chambers type. Someone who's going to probably get 30 goals this season for us, but he'll do them in bunches of hat-tricks here and there and won't actually be making a huge contribution to like two-thirds of our games. And that that could be a problem because no one else is scoring either. As you can see, we've we've scored very few goals. We've tried the new tactic a couple of times. So we started off with a 4-4-2 in the first game, but I think I think it was the two times we got stuffed. So away against Sutton, we tried the 4-3-3. That yeah, it didn't really work. Um, we tried it again away against Orient. It didn't really work. I'm a little bit worried. Maybe that tactic doesn't work at all. So we've, we're abandoning that for today. We're back to the 4-4-2 for today. And... Fingers crossed, we can we can stick a result out there. I don't know how good Gateshead are. Let's have a little look. Gateshead are eleventh at the moment. Let's see what the preseason prediction was for Gateshead. So season preview, Gateshead. I don't even see them. Gateshead are a mid-table team. They're the sort of team where in a home game, ideally, if we're going to survive in this division, we probably need to be picking up a result or at least not getting beaten. The one thing we've got going in our favour at the moment, long-time viewers will be very familiar with the Kev ratio. We're hitting the Kev ratio. As long as we end up with as many points as we've played games at the end of the season, we should be safe. It's a little bit iffier when there's four relegation spots. We ideally want to be a few points above that. I mean, we've got to be aiming for 50 points, really. I don't know if we're going to get to 50 points. We've not looked very good today. I mean, two wins today, and suddenly everything gets a lot more positive. So this is our team. We've got Gcock in goal. A back four of Richards, Gudger, Cowgill and Bloor. We've Sadie on the left wing. We still don't have a winger. Um, Shakunbi uh, is going to make his debut in central midfield. This is the lad that we've got on loan from Colchester for the season, who I brought in to offer competition to Sambu as our ball winning midfielder. He's actually, according to my... Star ratings, better than Sambu. He's been injured up until now, but he is now fit enough to start. And as Sambu's not in particularly good form, only on a 6.48 in in, from his first six games, we're going to throw Shakumbi straight in now that he's fit, alongside the one bright hope that we've got for this season, um, and that's Pedda. Um, Rafferty Pedda has been excellent in a poor team, averaging a 7.03, one goal, two assists. He's basically running the midfield and making it very difficult for Bosmer and Bale to make it back into the team. They've both played games. It's not that I've completely ignored that they've existed. If we have a look on our main squad screen so that we can... So Bale has played... Well, he's three substitute appearances. I've given him a fair crack of the whip. Where's Bosmer? Bosmer's around somewhere too. So he started two games and made a substitute appearance. It's okay, Prep. Maybe I've not given them a fair crack of the whip yet, but Ped has been excellent, so he's going to continue starting. Whaler's going to be on the right-hand side of midfield. He's another one who came in in the summer. I'm not sure if I introduced you to him before, but he's, I mean, he's a good winger. He's a decent winger who can also play right back. If Sadie's going to be playing left back, we need someone else on the right wing, and that's all the thought process that's gone into that. And we are persisting with Denanga and Clayton up front even though it's not really working yet. Although, I say it's not working. We're a, co we're a relegation threat and conference team whose strike partnership has five goals from six games. So, it probably is working. But I want it to. I want ten goals from six games from these two. I certainly don't want Denanga to be sat there on only one goal from his first five appearances. 
because that, that troubles me a little bit. Um, we've, we've got options. We've tried um, Rico, Hackett, Fairchild. He's had a couple of opportunities. Williams has had a couple of opportunities. Pollock, the youngster who came in, he's come off the bench a couple of times. I, I just I think we probably just lack in quality everywhere. I can't blame it all on not being able to sign a left winger in the summer. Um, there's a bigger step up between the Conference South and the full fat conference than I was anticipating. And this squad that we put together that I thought was actually quite a good squad turns out actually not that good a squad. Um, I know a lot of you want to avenge. Yeah, let's avenge what happened last time we played Gateshead. I have no knowledge of the last time we played Gateshead. Have we played Gateshead at all in this series so far? Because they would have, if they were down in the division below, they'd have been in the north with us in the south. We must have played them in a cup competition at some point. And presumably got beaten. I don't remember. But there's Pedder in midfield. I want Pedder to show you what a hero he is. Um, and I want Clayton to get back in the goals again. I don't mind if Clayton and Denanga want to just be players who show off for the cameras. Denanga did that last year. If you, if they want to show off for you lot because you're here today and become your heroes, that's fine with me. We need the two wins. Richards with the cross. Clayton's there and forces a good save out of the gate, said Keeper. It's nice to actually see... Clayton getting in amongst the chances and um, the other thing that I've been doing and I mean I'm I fully admit I still have no idea what I'm doing I've been fiddling with my set piece instructions I've read like four or five blog articles on how to set up set pieces both attacking and defensively I still don't really know what I'm doing um, at the moment I've kind of taken bits from each of them and tried to apply that to my team and it's what I'm finding is we're conceding more goals from set pieces than we were before, although we are a little bit more threatening from them. So we should be aiming this corner at the far post where we have our big defender hanging out. And um, there's Pedder nodding it down to Whaler. I mean, it didn't get anywhere near our big defender. So, I mean, Cowgill's supposed to be the one nodding them down. What I'm finding is Pedder's getting on the end of quite a lot of these corners and Pedder's just on a get forward instruction, whereas Cowgill's the one who's supposed to be attacking the far post. So I don't know if that means he doesn't know how to attack a far post or our corner takers don't know how to hit a far post, but we kind of aim for the far post and Pedda sweeps it up from behind. Because I guess we're just messing it up. I don't really know. Um, come on, let's still avenge last time. I still don't know what they did. I mean, a nil-nil wouldn't be a disaster. A point is a point at this stage of the season. We could do with some of them. And we haven't had a draw yet. Uh, but yeah, set pieces, I'll continue fiddling with them. It's something I've not really touched at all in the series so far, other than having a little look at adding some set piece takers right at the start of the first season. I've kind of left it to itself, which is obviously something that I shouldn't be doing. This is, this is new game, new Kev. I need to take all of these things seriously. And in reality, I'm going to try and improve our set pieces when we're a very poor team. I mean, you should do it all the time, but as we're the worst team in the division, probably, we need to score goals where we can. That's... I mean, it felt offside. It probably wasn't, but it did feel offside. Let's have a little look at it. I think that's the guy who scored, if we keep an eye on him, or it could have been this guy over here. Um, okay, it's someone else entirely. Oh, no, it was that guy, and he wasn't close to offside. It's just our defenders were rubbish. And we're going to get caught with stuff like that from time to time. Let's show some passion. Come on, we've got to revenge what happened last time, lads. We're going to push on to balanced. And I guess, oh, here you go. Free kick, Sadie, across to Cowgill. Cowgill does get there this time. And, I mean, it it wreaked havoc, didn't lead to a goal, but we actually had a free kick aimed at the far post and the guy who was supposed to be there got there to nod it back across. So that actually worked quite well. Shame it didn't lead to a goal. And now Clayton's picked up an injury, which kind of ruins the substitution I was about to make. I was going to bring on Williams and stick him on the left wing up there as an inside forward just to be a bit a little bit more attacking and almost go to a kind of asymmetric thing where I stick him up there, stick him there, move Pedder across and kind of, I don't know, I can't really do it though if I've got to take Clayton off. What is actually Clayton's injury? He has got a potential groin injury. We're going to have to take him off just to protect him. Williams wants to be a pressing forward. That means we're going to push Denanga forward. Again. In fact, does is that what it means? Or am I just going to... Let's, I don't know, let's fiddle. Let's have a little fiddle. What can we come up with? So we're going to do... I mean, this is this is a tactical masterclass here. Kev's just going to fiddle with stuff and see if he can stumble across something that looks like it might work. Have we got anyone who can be a bit more attacking? Or should we do a midfield? We could actually go... I tell you what this is screaming out for. It's saying, Kev, use the tactic you've already got planned, you moron. Because then you can take him off. Um, we'll probably... I don't know, do we bring Sambu into midfield? We want two ball-winning midfielders in there. Do that. Maybe push Pedder further forward. 
does that look like a tactic a human would use? It's not the worst thing in the world, I don't think. We're going to make him attacking. We'll push forward a little bit. And, I mean, it's no worse than what we had before, surely. And it takes out the injured player. Um, and, of course, they've got a corner and we've given away a penalty. And it's Sambu, who has been such a superstar for us for the last two years. And I just don't think he's been able to cope with a step up to the better league. I, I mean... Oh, it's so frustrating. But I tell you what's doubly frustrating. Look at the stats. We've had all the shots. Until that penalty, we'd had more clear-cut chances. We're 2-0 down, though. We're not playing terribly. We just are lacking quality. Which is... I mean, it's problematic. It, it's it's making life difficult for us. Let's get creative. We've got Raw, who can come on anywhere in that midfield. I don't... I mean, where is he going to make a difference? Shakumbi's shattered. We'll bring Raw on there, and I mean that's not a game-changing substitution. Spoilers that he—that's going to make no difference other than the fact it protects a youngster who's recovering from injury and is a bit tired. Ped has shattered as well. We've been rubbish, absolutely rubbish today. Oh, and now we're gonna—we're gonna lose three 0 We don't deserve to lose three 0 I'm looking at the stats, thinking, yeah, we've not looked like a national league team, but it wouldn't have been. I don't think Gateshead could feel hard done by if we'd have drawn the game. We certainly don't deserve to lose 3-0. But we're just not very good. And like I said before, this is a game where... I mean, really, if if you're planning out your, your results in advance, you look at the fixture list and think, this one, mid-table team, if we're going to stay up, we've got to be beating Gateshead. I said it before the match, and we've... <laughs> Lost comfortably. Mm. Oh dear. Just, I mean, I can fault you. But it wasn't good enough. I am going to fault your performances. You need to sort your lives out. I think for me to save my managerial reputation in this universe, because I realise it's long gone with you lot, um, I think we need to be looking at the job centre fairly regularly before I get fired. I shouldn't get fired even if we get relegated. But obviously I'm a hotter commodity with the cup run from last year in the promotion than I will be if I get sacked or we get relegated. And with the money we've spent, if we get relegated, we're gonna Oh it's gonna Oh it's all going wrong. I feel it going wrong. Oh I need to lie down. Right, one change for the Tranmere game. Um we've brought Sambu back into the midfield for Shakumbi who's who's shattered. Um, so Sambu goes back into the midfield. Um, Clayton's fit-ish to play. Probably shouldn't be playing him, but I don't really have a better option. But in more positive news, at least the media say we face an impossible task. I can't even find the media report now. Um, St Albans face the impossible. Tramir are four places above us in the league. And it's considered impossible for us to get a result against them. Hmm... Oh, good, they're playing three up front. Is that still an exploit tactic this year? Oh, I hope so. Team talk. Did they beat us? Are we going to get revenge on this lot as well? No? Underdogs. Let's get an upset. Exactly. Love being underdogs. We all love an underdog story. Please, can we just not be rubbish today? We need a win to maintain the Kev ratio, having been defeated in that last game. A draw just isn't enough. We are still just outside the relegation zone. But obviously, we need a win. <laughs> um, I've already decided that assuming this is going to be a season of relegation battle or at best mid-table mediocrity if we manage to sort ourselves out I'm going to try and fly through the episodes a little bit more this season I'm not going to drag this season out to like 10, 12 episodes like we have the last couple of seasons because it's alright when you're winning and you're on cup runs and you're pushing for promotion no one wants to see 10 episodes of me losing and crying so we'll probably... Assuming we're going to lose again, which we are, we'll probably leap forward quite a long way. We're back in the relegation zone now. Yay. Oh, what on earth do I do? The four, the four, three, three doesn't work. We've tried it several times and it just gets us thumped. But is it getting us thumped because the only times we're trying it are against teams who are much better than us? So they thump us and then we do the four, four, two against the teams who are a little bit better than us and they still beat us, but they don't thump us. I don't know. I don't know if by only using it in the big games, I'm ruling it out. That could have been the tactic that beat Gateshead. 
we were never going to beat Tranmere away. We could have beaten Gateshead at home, and maybe we should have tried the four three three for that. But it just feels so negative, and we've not had a shot in this game yet. What I mean that then feeds into the what's the point of playing two strikers if they're not going to get to have a shot? It's, we may as well have that extra player in midfield because at least then they're getting on the ball a bit, which is nice. Getting getting involved. It's like playing with nine men, having two strikers up front when we can't get out of our own half. And we've just given them an assist. Oh, Gcock makes a save. Marvellous. Shall we push on and, and try and get back into the game? Let's let's get creative. We've not got any creativity in us. But we'll try and get creative. I need a left winger. Or and you've all we've been down this road before, an attacking midfielder, so we can do the four three one two. That we've done so many times over the years. But we haven't got one of them either. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking at this thinking, what can I do to get us back into the game? And I haven't got a clue. Um, Sadie's going bank. Right, we're going to take Whaler off and we're going to bring you and Pollock on. And we're going to stick our wingers forward. We're going to stick Denang. No, we're not going to stick. We'll stick Clayton out on the wing as punishment for the fact that he's not been the prolific scorer I was hoping for. Pollock can then be a poacher. Denanga's going to be that. See, this, we're getting somewhere now. Um, we're going to bring we're going to bring Shakunbi on for Pedder in midfield, and we're going to have two ball-winning midfielders, but we're going to have one of them on support. So, are either of you really good at support? Not really. So, we'll, <laughs> two ball-winning midfielders, and then lots of attacking. I mean, there you go. That's it's tactics at least. At least I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a potential way back into the game. Obviously now, push forward. Just get the ball forward. Throw the ball at our strikers. We've got a lot of attacking players on the pitch. Let's try and score a goal, lads. Richards is having a terrible game. We don't have a left back on the bench. We could bring Walls on and shift the whole defence across, but I don't think Merch can really play centre-back either. So there's, I mean, there's no point. In it. We'll just accept Richards is having a bad game. Bring Wyatt in for the next one, maybe. Do we bring Bale on for a very tired-looking Sambu? Or do we bring him on for Sadie? We're going to do this. This is the, the secret middle option that I didn't tell you all about. You can be an attacker there. And we stick Clayton back up front. And we're going to stick... There you go, look, see? Kev, the tactics master. We're going to try that for a little while. We've got ten minutes of giving that a go. Let's be attacking. Three strikers. If they did it to us, we can do it to them. I think it's only fair. Pollock, nothing. I mean, it's two minutes ago I was saying, what's the point of playing two strikers when you can't get a shot? My solution, an extra striker. Shakumbi hits the post. I mean, anything will do. That would have been fine if that had found a way in, but no. And there's no one. That, we've got three strikers on, and there's no one there to tuck away a rebound in a situation like that. I ask you, Richards to Bale, back to Richards. Get the ball in the area. We've got all the strikers there. Merch to Shakumbi. Shakumbi back to Sambu. Please get the ball in the area. Somebody, Richards to Pollock. It's in the area. Denanga straight at the keeper. At least we've generated some chances in this second half. We're just not very good at attacking. We don't score goals. Why is Cowgill taking the corner? Our big centre-back that we're supposed to be aiming for at corners... He's now taking the... Oh, it just it hurts a little bit. I haven't asked him to do that. Just let my assistants... I need to check this set-piece situation because I have not ever asked him to take a corner. I don't know why he's... I don't understand. Show me the set-pieces. Show me why he's taking a corner. So, set-piece, set-piece takers, corners. Oh, look. He's not on the list. What's he doing taking it then? I just, I give up. I give I want a new job. We're not good enough for this league. We've overachieved. I want a new job. Why is it not just showing his manager jobs? If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.